This is a full achievement slash trophy walkthrough for Nescape. Big shout out to 8-Bit Legit and Con Games for sending me a free code. Right here in the beginning we need to unlock that lock by putting in the word begin which will get us an achievement slash trophy. Then at the start here of chapter one we want to go ahead and turn on the light for yet another achievement slash trophy and then grab everything off of this table here. This is a flashlight and a hair dryer. We won't actually be using the flashlight but you might as well take it. Now from here we're going to head to the right into the next room which is going to be the blue room and we want to interact with this little case on the table in order to open it up you want to hit these buttons in this order top left bottom left top right middle left and then grab everything out of this box With this key in our inventory, we're going to head to the left into the yellow room. And from here, we want to use the key on the table in order to open the drawer and grab the extension cable from it. With the extension cable, we're going to combine it with the hair dryer in our inventory. And then we'll be able to plug it into the wall in order to melt the statue on the table and grab the key from the melted statue. With this key in our inventory, we're going to head into the green room and we want to use the key on the trunk in the right corner here. This will open it up, revealing yet another puzzle with the solution on screen. So you just want to move the blank space based on the directions that I'm showing here. So U is for up, R is for right, D is for down, and L is for left. Once you complete this puzzle, we'll be ready to move on. With this puzzle completed, grab everything from inside of this box and we want to combine the two pieces of paper that we have in our inventory which are going to reveal the code of 225. This is actually a time that we need to input on the grandfather clock so go ahead and move the hands so that it reads 225 and then a handle will appear. Pull that and you will get another achievement slash trophy for completing the first day. At the start of the second chapter, we once again want to flick the light on, and then we want to grab every painting off of the wall from each of the rooms. And then in the blue room, we want to place all of the paintings on the wall with their scuffed corners matching up with the corner imprints on the wall itself. So you'll notice on the actual paintings, there are little scuffs on the edges on all of the frames, and you want to match those up to the actual corners that are imprinted on the blue wall.
once the pictures have been placed correctly on the blue wall, head to the yellow room and we want to interact with these four sliders. You're going to put the first one to the bottom, the second one to the top line, the third one to the middle top line, and the fourth one to the middle bottom line. Then once you've done that, we're going to head into the blue room and interact with the piano where we need to play the corresponding keys on the piano itself. So these two puzzles are directly related to each other. So on the piano here, once I click onto it, we're going to play the following keys. The first one, the eighth one, the seventh one, and then the fifth one. So this is going from left to right, the first one being right here, and the eighth one being down here. Then we're going to do the seventh one and the fifth one, which is going to reveal a marble for us to grab. And then we can head back to the red room where we need to complete the marble puzzle. This marble puzzle isn't really too much of a puzzle as it is just a little mini game. So you want to place the marble into the machine at the start and then you just need to slowly move it through the machine. I've actually sped this up like four times how fast I was actually doing it so you don't have to sit here and watch me do it for like four minutes. But basically just do it as slowly as possible so that you don't fall into any of the holes and make it all the way to the end to complete this portion of the game. After completing this puzzle, we want to go ahead and grab the blue key from inside of here, and then we can back out and head back to the blue room. We want to interact with the table in the blue room, and we're going to use the key to unlock the little drawer on the table and grab the batteries from inside, then combine the batteries with your Walkman to get your final achievement slash trophy in this game. There's plenty more game to still be played, so if you want to keep playing, feel free, but this is where my guide is going to end as we have gotten every single achievement slash trophy.